Welcome to video number 10. Uh, video number 10 is going to be a demonstration on, the, on um, another mobile app that's for FBA sellers. So uh, this mobile app is called Profit Bandit. Um, I'm at the Play Store right now and search for Profit Bandit and click on this app. Click install, install the app. So. I'm going to launch my app. Um, there's two ways. Let's say you're in a store. You want to get instant data on a product that you want to list. Um, a, you could click scan. And scan, what that does, it's, um, you know, the camera turns on. And you can just point your camera at a barcode. It'll scan once it scans the barcode, it'll search the database and comes back with um, you know the data you need. Um, this product, what is saying here, FBA? There's no FBA seller. Uh, there's only one new seller for thirty forty eight, and it's you. Uh, there's no use or collect. So rank is not available. Amazon rank. There's no rank. There's no rank data on it. I'll, I'll talk about rank data in a little bit. Um, how much it cost me to buy? I, it's right now it's default to three. I don't know why. Um, so I'm gonna put in ten. Let's say for example, it cost me ten dollars to buy this. So immediately it tells you the profit would be fourteen fifty eight after all the FBA fees. So it's just pretty pretty good. The other option is actually for you to type in what product it is. Let's do Hobbit. So these are all the list of the Hobbit products that's coming up. Um, I'm actually looking for the book. So all this data that's coming up, you see um, there's two FBA sellers selling it for $8.98. There's 90, uh, 98 new means there's 98 different sellers that's selling this book. Um, New and 106 for used. Um, this um, this collectible, seven collectibles. It's starting. The price is from lowest to highest, as you can see. So 98, 106. Well, it's a lot of sellers. So this is just a demonstration about you know you making a decision. Should you buy this book? You shouldn't buy this book. You know you're at the store. It's selling for. You know you could pick it up for you know anywhere from a dollar to five dollars let's say this book costs five dollars you know let's put it in you put in five dollars you're using you're doing fba and your profits only gonna be you're actually gonna lose money ironically 60 you're gonna lose 67 cents so obviously that's not a good you know it's not a good idea to buy this product you know buy this product unless you're forced to in a bulk So let's search for another product. I'm gonna search for um, cups. Cups came up. I don't know why, but all right. Let's do this cup. Paper plastic cups. Really cheap. You know, this 10 FBA sellers at 280, 282. This 23. Uh, sellers for this cup. Luckily, there's nobody selling uh, plastic cups that's used. I don't think you should buy used um, used cups. So there's all the data that's available. You can enter, you know, how much you want, how much you sp this item will cost. I'll tell you if you're making money or losing money. But let's put in a dollar. It'll cost you a dollar buy this. You know, you ship it to F uh, FBA. They'll sell for like um, four ninety nine. You'll make. You know, profit dollar fifty nine. Is that good or bad? Um, it depends. Um, it's good. Like right now, it has an Amazon rank of fifty two. There's certain numbers. I'll give you an equation later. How many Amazon sells in a day? So if this if this item you can sell a hundred in a day, and it costs you a dollar, you get a dollar a profit a dollar fifty nine. 
you know, um, dollar fifty nine, a hundred of these. You talking about hundred and fifty nine? You know, you got one hundred and fifty nine dollars in a day. That's just a day, or you know, if you have a thousand, it's a totally different number. So the profit might be lower. You know, your you, you know, now you're dealing with volume, so it makes up for it by itself. So you have to make a decision how you want to, you know, what profit you're comfortable comfortable with. So this is the demonstration for. Profit Bandit. Thank you for watching.